tiburon. But first, coffee. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Karen, AKA I Love Sarai. And today we are gonna be learning how to achieve this Valentine's Day makeup. So this look is a very sassy Valentine's Day look. It's not the normal, traditional, soft and pretty. I feel like I wanna do something a little different than what I normally would do on Valentine's Day. Normally on Valentine's Day, I would probably do a wing liner, red lips, pink lips. Um, I would keep it very soft, but I don't know why. This time around, I was feeling very inspired by like the Valentine theme, the colors, the purples, the pinks, and then a lot of glow. I just kind of wanted to add everything in there. I thought it'd be fun and different. So this is the look I came up with. I kept the eyes a little more on the dramatic side, went for a more mauve kind of lip, and I will admit, guys, in this video, I did f up a little bit. Look, at one point, this I wasn't blending out right, and then my liner wasn't going on right. Yada, yada, yada. You know when things just like start happening, but I didn't give up, I kept it going. I just had to figure out around it and this is the outcome and I love the way it came out. So whether you are single, taken, going on a mountain day, not going out, you just love makeup, this look is gonna be perfect for you. All right guys, so shall we get started with this makeup look? So I'm gonna go in first and prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden. I've been using this one forever now and I, I have to admit, I probably use it in almost all my videos. It's just my favorite. If you guys know of a better one, I'll take the challenge and try it. I really love trying new stuff. I feel like my shadow's one dot better with this primer, but like I said, if you guys have a better one, let me know. I've been so down, I'm so down to try it. Okay, pat, pat, pat. Patting is kind of like the key when applying the primer. You really want to make sure you pat it in and evenly spread it out throughout the entire eye. And right here, I like to kind of pull it towards kind of the nose area. And then right here, I like to pull it out. Um, just because with shadow, we're not gonna stop right here, nor am I gonna stop right there. Like, we might pull out, the transition might fade out a little more. You know what I mean? It makes it easier. So just make sure you really put a pretty good amount all over the lid. So for my eyes today, I'm gonna be mixing a couple of products today. I have a lot of like new fun stuff I wanna mess around with. Um, so the first one I'm gonna go in with is my shadows. I'm gonna be using today the Give It To Me Straight. Give it to me straight. Who? These names are hilarious. I know who does them too. I know the ColourPop team. They're funny. But uh, this is a Give It To Me Straight palette and I've really been loving these new ColourPop uh, palettes. I love the sides. I love how slim they are. And then I love the shadows as well. So first I'm gonna go in with Matter of Fact and I'm gonna dust that across my entire eyelid. And I'm just gonna take in like this big large brush. We're just gonna add a little bit of a shadow on there. Just gonna set everything. There's so much noise today outside. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with my transition shades and I'm gonna be using today the shade Downright and TMI. These are gonna be the main colors in my crease. Starting out first with this one and then moving into that shade. So with transitions, I like to always use about two. Um, one kind of like a medium shade and then one a little darker. So this is down, oh no, not downtown, wait. Downright, downright. I'm gonna go ahead and just add this in the crease and then start blending up. And then I'm actually gonna start blending in as well. With this kind of, Shadow technique, I really like to pull the shadow in first and then work my way out. And I'm now gonna go in circular motion and then start rotating my brush out and then lightly up. I'm gonna grab that same color on a flat brush. This is the MAC 239 Synthetic Brush. It's like their newer one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly carve out the lid area. And then I'll take a blending brush and just kind of blend it all out. It's actually a lot more pink than I thought it was. I thought it was a little more brown, but it's actually perfect now that I look at it. It's better than being too orange. I feel like I always go to orange shades. All right, next eye, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. All right, I'm now gonna go with the shade TMI, which is this kind of burgundy matte shade. Gonna pretty much follow the same steps. I'm just not gonna take it out as far, mainly focusing it right in the crease and then to carve out the lid with, not lid. Crease, you know what I mean, crease. And I'm gonna do the same thing, starting on the crease and then lightly packing it in. But this kind of look, it's really all about blending and packing and kind of building the look. The same thing, just start kind of carving it out. Go ahead and add a little bit more of that downright color and just lightly tap it over. See how it's gonna... I'm gonna take another brush, you guys. 
and be real with y'all, I just got Botox right up in here. And I, I think I can only move. This isn't like, I, so I really have to tilt my head back now versus how I used to be able to just like lift and like have space. I have to go like this. So I'm gonna tilt my head back and uh, keep on carving and we're done. Okay. So next I'm going with the new Stila Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. It's like a baby pink kind of shade. Now this is a very, very important step. I can mess it up. We all can mess up. Uh, so I gotta really take my time on this one, but I feel like in the past I've done this or I've been in a rush or I haven't carefully applied it on myself. It's a disaster. So you kind of have to almost know where your folds at. Um, that's how I figured it out because before I was trying to carve all the way up here and then as soon as I went like this, my like this little hood spot so I got on it and then I had shadow everywhere. It was a mess. So make sure you really know where your lid kind of carves out at and then that's where you know where to apply. I'm gonna pick some up on this brush from Urban Decay. This is the tight lane brush. It's like very dome shaped, very small, perfect for those hard to reach areas. So I feel like I need to like say a prayer, please make up God, do not make me mess up. Amen. I'm gonna grab this little guy right here. Let's try, let's try, let's try. So right here I'm gonna go ahead and use that brush and then just kind of break that demarcation. We don't want anyone to know that it just stopped right there. It's gotta be a nice transition. I'm gonna add a little more right here. All right, I'm gonna go back in with TMI and I'm gonna go ahead and pat that onto the crease. Just kind of going over this area with that shade. I think I messed it up. Do we see this right here? Do we see that? I see that. Can I get away with it? I'm gonna go back in with that shimmer again and then just kind of clean it up one more time. Woo! Moving on to the next eye. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a cleanup underneath of the eye. I'm honestly in love with how this looks so far. All right, moving on. So next I'm gonna get into liner and lashes. For this look, I'm not winging out my eyeliner, but what I do like to do is I actually still apply liner, but I like to just kind of line the lash line as thin as possible. So I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Grandosis Eyeliner. This is the one that has a little, you see that? So you can actually do it like this, but when you fold it, it actually allows you to apply it on even better. So what I like to do is just press against the lash line. Some might find it pointless to do this, but I feel for me, it just fills in that gap right there. All right, so liner is done. As you can see, like I said, it's not gonna be very visible in this look because I don't want it to be. I just want it to fill in that gap. You can skip it, but I promise you it makes a big difference. So lashes today, I'm gonna be very shocked. I'm gonna use different lashes today. I'm gonna go in today with the Iconic Lashes from House of Lashes. Go ahead and just kind of cut these up, prep them, get them ready. All right, so a quick update on this room since my Get Cleaning With Me video. I finished cleaning, everything's back to normal looking good in here i'm so happy um but something i mentioned on my snapchat is that i actually want to do a new beauty backdrop so i normally just use like fabrics and the light and we love it it's gorgeous it's all put together but i kind of want like a beauty room background i was always so excited to see which beauty youtuber had in their backdrop like which candle she had which this with that like there was so much personality to it so once we moved here i told sebastian i wanted to get a beauty background on days i don't want to use fabrics i'm trying to gather up ideas of exactly what i want to do i want to throw a lot of my personality i feel like there's got to be plants if there's no plants in here then it's not me you know but i love plants somebody on snapchat told me to do like a wall of like the honey the honeycomb things where i can add plants and cute like lipsticks and whatnot which I thought was actually pretty cool so yeah okay my lashes are ready go ahead and pop these on i'm applying it more towards the outer part of the eye they flare out at the end so i like to focus it more out here kind of tilt them up a little bit as well there you go all right same thing on this side oh this liner needs to be fixed look at that looks terrible oh my god 
All right, it's time to get started on the rest of the makeup. I already have on moisturizer and I have on primer. I'm gonna put a little bit of eye cream on. This is the Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. This has been like my go-to eye cream for a few months now and I have been absolutely loving it. I don't know if you guys can see that little glow it gives. And also what I really love about it is that it makes my concealer look amazing. You know sometimes like certain eye creams can cause it to separate or you feel like there's like something missing to hold on the concealer. This is literally like an eye cream and eye primer in one. It's so good. I'm gonna go in with my NARS foundation today. Today I'm gonna use the Barcelona shade and the last one I used Stromboli Barcelona today. I wanna be a little more bronzy and I'm gonna take this in with a damp beauty blender. Just start kind of pouncing this on my skin. Um, by the way, I have a skincare video coming for you guys pretty soon too. It's gonna be my morning routine. Never done a morning routine, ever. I changed up a lot of my skincare. I started going to a different person for facials. I feel like my skin looks its best right now. I haven't had any major breakouts. I feel like I've just been really on top of my skincare game lately. I feel confident with the products I'm using, so I'm like ready. I'm ready to share what my routine is and kind of what I do. So if you guys want that, let me know regardless. I'm still gonna give it to you guys. I'm gonna give it to you straight. <laughs> Sorry, that was so funny. We're gonna do some major contouring today. Um, I'm gonna go in with my fave Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna really make sure you have a good amount on. We don't want your head out showing. She is beat. Okay, I'm gonna take in deep now. Do a little bit of contouring with this one. I'm just taking in this brush and just kind of like buffing it, everything in forward. And then again, same thing, just gonna keep on tapping. Okay, the same thing on this side too, gonna just kind of tap it on, and just tap it on, kind of push it into place. All right, I'm gonna go and do some setting on the skin. I'm gonna go in today with the Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the shade 220. And I used this brush in the last video, you guys been asking about it. This is the Smashbox Buildable Cheek. Uh, yeah, Buildable Cheek, it's like a kind of tapered angled brush. Very lightweight, it just kind of like feathers it onto the skin. You guys notice I only have one earring on. I couldn't find the other, so you know, it doesn't show, so it covers it. But I'll let you guys know in case you guys already saw it. In case you didn't see it, now you know. I'm only wearing one earring. Then I'm gonna use today the terracotta number five. This is a the brunette bronzer. Shayla uses this and it's like amazing on her skin, so I, I totally had to copy her. I'm gonna use the same buildable brush and start on the outer part of my cheek and then let me work my way in forward. All right, next I'm gonna be applying on some blush. Yes, blush. I have not worn blush in a very long time. If you watch my videos, you know I'm like a bronzer, highlight kind of girl, but I'm in the, I'm in the mood to wear blush. I feel like I, I wanna brighten up the look a little bit. So I'm gonna go in with the Sigma Nympha. Nymphae, Nymphae, Nympho, you know? It kinda goes with the theme. Anyways, it's like a pink, a pink blush. I thought it was perfect. So I'm gonna apply this on with a dual fiber brush. And I got this idea from Jade. I was just actually watching her video and she applies her blush with a dual fiber, which I haven't even used a dual fiber brush in a very long time. This is probably the brush that I've needed versus like using it with a brush like this, like it's too stiff. So let's see how this goes. Do you guys see a difference? I do. Ooh, it's cute. That's enough though. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I gotta play. I gotta. I gotta play around with blushes. It's been a very long time. One day though, I, I'm gonna become like the biggest blush person. We'll see. All right, gonna go ahead and do a little bit of baking with my Derma Blend. I'm gonna tap this underneath of the eyes. I'm actually almost out. Look at. And then just do a little bit of cleanup right there. All right. So while I bake, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my under eyes. I figure this is a great time to do that in case anything falls, it can fall onto the loose powder and I can dust it off at the end. So I'm gonna go back in with the. Uh, TMI shade, and I'm pretty much gonna smoke halfway in. Start this right on the outer part, right about there. Next, I'm gonna go in with um, Actually. Actually gonna go in with Actually. And I'm gonna grab it with a flat defining brush, this one. So this one's a little more dome shape, which allows me to smoke it. This one's more for like up on the lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that on that brush, and I'm gonna spray it. So I'm spraying it because I want it to go on a little bit more like an eyeliner. A little fallout, fallout, but not too bad. To finish off my eyes, I'm gonna add some eyeliner. This is the Milk Blindfolded Black Eyeliner. I'm gonna roll this up on the top of my, what is this, my lid. I feel like I always have that gap. Look possessed for a hot minute. I'm gonna go ahead and line the bottom of my lash line. And I'm going as close as I can to the lash line, kind of blending it into 
the last color. That way there's no gap of where the color is stopped. Sometimes you see that gap right there. You wanna make sure that you really get it as close as you can with both the products of shadow and eyeliner so that it all kind of blends in. All right, I think we are done baking. Time's up. Otherwise, I get hella dry. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, so my eyes are pretty much done. We have like two more things to do on the eyes, but first we're gonna set the skin. Uh, apply some Fix Plus. I'm gonna do a lot actually today because I did apply tons of powder. All right, so we're pretty much done on the face. The last thing we need, and you guys know what it is, drum roll. Highlight, yes, highlight. Highlight is the one thing that completes the look other than lips. Highlight completes the look. It's everything we need. It's gonna just va -va boom the whole look up. All right, so I'm gonna be going in today with these with this brand new highlight from Persona Cosmetics. It's part of her Cali Glow highlight, and this is in the shade Zuma. So pretty. When I swatched these guys, I fell in love with how pretty these highlights are. Super pigmented. A little goes a long way with them. Um, what I thought was cute too is because they're called Cali Glow, and I'm a Cali girl, so of course I'm gonna support this. But also, I love that they're named after a beach in California. So this is Zuma. Zuma is right by Malibu. The next one I believe is Del Mar, which is near San Diego, and then Laguna, which we all know where Laguna is. But I thought that was so cute. I just fell in love with it, and I thought the idea is cute. And I love Sona. Sona is like the sweetest person ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this brush. Wow. I'm gonna do a little bit above my brow. And then for the cheek area, I'm gonna use the large shade as well. And I'm gonna flip it back over. I'm gonna do the keep it dough. And then last but not least, I'm gonna grab this little brush and add it to the inner tear deck of the eye. You can never forget this part right there. It just brightens up the whole look. All right, so for lips, I was a little stumped on what to do because a part of me wanted to do really dark lips, but a part of me also wanted to do more like lighter. Because it went a little heavier on the eyes, I'm gonna go with the lighter shade. So I'm gonna take in the shade from Dose of Colors. This is Truffle. You guys all know Truffle. She, she's been around for a while. She's a good one though. She's loyal. So we're gonna go with Truffle and I'm gonna go ahead and plump my lips up with some lip liner and then go in with the lip color. So now I'm gonna go with Truffle. Now that I think about it, I remember when I used to freelance, this was like the perfect bridal lip that I would use on everybody. So I feel like it's a color that's soft enough for um, dinner or for hanging out with someone for the first time, if you met them, you know? You wanna make your lips look good? This is definitely the color. See what I mean? It's like so natural. Perfect mauve pink. So I'm all done with the makeup. I'm gonna do one last step, and this is optional. So because I'm wearing a top like this, and let's just say tonight is Thanksgiving. Let's just say tonight is Valentine's Day, and I'm gonna be showing some shoulders. I wanna make sure I add a little bit of a body bronzer, add a little bit of glow to my body. I can't be glowing just on the face and nothing down here, so it's kinda gotta match. Plus, adding a little bit of like a shimmery body glow, it's gonna make the skin look very irresistible, soft and smooth, so we kinda gotta add that. I'm gonna go in with the Melanie Mills Gleam Body Radiance. It says the Sandra Deluxe. It's probably my favorite one. I don't know if you guys can see that. We're gonna take it to another level, though. I should probably wash my hands, too, before my date. You see how it adds like a little glow to the body? It's very natural. I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, but I'm now gonna go in with a larger brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap it on the high points. Let's see that. And then we're gonna add a little bit to the neck area. Just kind of lightly dust this one across. I'm gonna just go like this and then add it in those deeper areas. All right, my loves, we are all ready for Valentine's Day. This is the final look on this makeup tutorial. She's ready for whatever the night is ready to take her. Let me know below your thoughts on this makeup look. Would you wear something like this? I wanna thank you guys again for watching and tuning into my channel. Please be sure to subscribe before you leave if you are not a part of the fam. And with that being said, I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah!